Are you planning to enter the JCDC competitions this year? Well, here's what you need to know. We have gone virtual. Yes, everything is online. And guess what? We are welcoming only solo presentations. Entrance in culinary arts, dance, drama, music, and speech must record their live presentation on an appropriate and reliable device. The presentations must flow naturally with no enhanced procedures. Doctoring or airbrushing will not be permitted. Once the video has been found to be digitally enhanced, the work will be disqualified. A carefully selected backdrop must be used where there are no disturbances to the recording of the video, which must be done under sufficient lighting. Ensure pure sound and stable capturing of content whilst utilizing landscape mode. Kindly engage a suitable video editing program to remove any prelude or postlude where necessary. Here are some tips to help guide your recording. Use plenty of light. Lighting makes a huge difference in the quality of a finished professional video. So make it one of your top priorities during filming. The sun is one of the best light sources for video. If you're filming in natural light, do your best to get your footage in the morning or evening. If you're filming indoors, you will need to be more intentional about the types of lights you use and where you place them. Use a clean background. Be deliberate about the background you use for filming. One easy way to get a professional look for your video is to use a solid colored background. Prioritize crisp, clear audio. Your audio quality is actually more important than your professional video quality. A fuzzy indistinct audio is usually enough to make the viewing of the presentation unsettling. Avoid shaky footage. Shaky footage will make any professional video look like a home video. So try not to hold your camera at all if you can help it. Instead, use a tripod or set your camera on a sturdy surface. Use your device the right way. You can use a phone, tablet, laptop to capture professional video. For example, use the camera on the back of your phone. Record in landscape mode that is horizontal instead of vertical. This will give you footage that looks good on large devices, not just phone screens. Choose a good video editing program. Good video editing software can help you turn your raw footage into something great. There are some simpler tools like Wave Video, Camtasia, or iMovie. More professional options include Final Cut Pro and Adobe Premiere Pro. Now that your video is shot and ready, here's how you send it to us. You can send it to us using JCDC's online portal upload or via our YouTube upload link. Visit our website for details. You can also drop it off at any of our JCDC parish offices islandwide for office-assisted upload. What are you waiting for? Enter now. JCDC Drama and Theater Workshop for 2021. It is the second workshop. Our first workshop was with Pierre Lemire, but we're here today for our second workshop. And yes, we're using the theater stage here. I guess I'm the only one on it, so I can pull on my mask because I don't see anybody here. All right, so we are here at the Little Theater. All right, the Little Theatre, if you know about the Little Theatre, this is where we have all our national finals for all our subject areas at the JCDC. All right, so we're here for one more exciting workshop. All right, I'm just going to ask that the participants, you, um, you please write your names and the school or parish that you're from so we have some information as to who we have joining us on Zoom. So ensure you write that as you get in, your name, your school's name, and if you want to put some contact information there. All right, it's each student or participant, please, I ask that you keep your mic on mute, unless that we ask you to speak or you're asking a question um, so that we can flow through smoothly and we don't have a lot of noise everywhere, all right? We want to welcome everyone from all the 
the 14 parishes here in Jamaica. And if we have persons watching and joining us from other places, welcome. This is part of the JCDC workshop series, but this time it is for theater and drama. All right, now, if you were watching before, we had Anthony Brackett, um, one of our performers from Green Island High School, big up Shauna Miller there. And um, Anthony Brackett did her presentation at the national finals, right? And that was a one woman show where she was being a pregnant lady, she was being the grandmother, she was being all these characters in that presentation. I will definitely show it before the end of the workshop. All right, and that was the only one man, one woman show that we had in the competition. And this year, we're looking forward to seeing more of the one man or one woman productions here on stage, because we know you have the skills, we know you have the talent. All right, our last workshop, we had uh, Pierre Lemire, and he dealt with acting, definitely, you know, finding, discovering the relationship with yourself, discovering body parts that you can move, um, the relationship with others, the relationship to the space, how to make the space make sense and become current. Um, if you use certain props, it might change how the space is seen. Um, also props, you know, your relationship to props, how you relate to the props and also how you relate to situations. All right. So that was acting, you know, acting, physical acting, emotional acting. He dealt a lot with the body. So this workshop today, we have a gentleman that will definitely speak about creating content for a dramatic presentation and more so one man or a one woman show. All right, and this presenter today, um, before I tell you his name, he will be joined by the same two artisans that would be his puppets. Um, that's um, the two, two students from the Edna Manley College. When they come on, I'll introduce them. But the gentleman I'm asking to come on stage is Mr. Owen Blacker Ellis. I'm sure that you know him more as a comedian. Um, I know him a lot as a teacher and um, does drama on a whole, and he definitely can give you some clues and some cues of how to create. He's not only a teacher, he's also a performer. Um, he's many things and not that tall. So help me welcome here, Mr. Owen Blacker Ellis. Sir? All right. Thank you, Mr. Drisdale. It's over to you. Thank you, sir. Good afternoon, all of you who are joining from all over the globe, all over Jamaica. I'm going to now remove my mask because these masks are quite constricting, but they are important that we keep Jamaica safe from COVID. But the mask is a very good example to show whether you are FF1, FF2, or FF3. FF1, everybody see your face, familiar face. FF2, mask of everything, them still don't say you, famous for it. That's me. FF1, FF2. And then FF3, I ban the mask, dry it up, cut the owe me, and one pay me. Fraudulent friend. Hello. So let's look at creating content. And I'll just give you an example of how we can use COVID to create content around the use of the mask and what the mask can do and cannot do. We are surrounded by content. It's for us to look at how can we use this content to create dramatic situations, to use the content, to pull teams. And from the teams, pull situations and topics. And from that, pull scenes and scenarios that will make a production. Are you with me? I think you're with me. Let's start by looking at just the idea of Jamaican content and Jamaican ideas and Jamaican stories. And I'm gonna just give you one quick one. Everybody use as a way of establishing time or a long time, say, from Wappy Kill Philip. We all know, know, know the statement. Boy, may I call you from Wappy Kill Philip? Me there, I tell you this thing from Wappy Kill Philip. Hey, but may I tell you that Wappy didn't kill Philip? Wappy killed, but he didn't kill Philip at all. Wappy was actually a criminal called Aston Jolly, whose alias name was Wappy King, K I N G. And he robbed some people and killed one of them. And the paper, the Gleaner at the time said, two escaped injury and one was killed by a Wappy King Philip, F-I-L-L-I-P, as in a sudden twist of the wrist and snapped them neck. It was Wappy King Philip. Somebody read the paper aloud, 
Their fears, Gilead trouble, them near, and them to wait. I'm afraid you know it. The victim was not called Philip or Philip. So it's an idea. But we could actually look at, or could we recreate that story? With what, with what, with what he's saying, never kill a Philip. You have a story already. You have a story. So is the, is the, the, the trick is, how can we pull from regular content and create stories? For example, we all learned that the early bird catch the worm. Imagine life if you were the early worm. The early worm, no one be early because early mean death. But they want to be early. So just, just an idea of how we can use these things to create content. So may I invite the wonderful, talented, acting people to join me on the stage. Can you stand in the front there? I'll stay at the back. So I'm going to throw at you words that could be teams. And your image to just use the word, the team, and use your body to create an image that depicts that team. You with me? Love. Anger. How about hunger? How about politics? How about crime? Okay, wonderful. So those are all frozen pictures. Now I want you to give me a moving picture. And I'm going to give you not a team, but a topic. Playground at recess. Police and thief. Our cowboy. Old time children games. All right, thank you. So as you consider content, rather than try and beat your head to find something strange or different, begin with the familiar and see how you can reenact the familiar in ways that will give you new ideas. We could pull from each physical, each physical frozen picture, the team, I said love. Let me, let me see love again. And we say, if that is love, then is she the person who is being loved? Is she wanting love? Is she enjoying love? Is she afraid of love? And if we build into the theme of love, different topics, love when you're hungry, or love for hungry belly, or love in Jamaica, or town and country love, or love of my country, Love of my country. I love the beach. Or I love to muggle. I love to muggle. <laughs> so the idea is we, we start with a team. If you, think, if you think of broad teams, and if you think of teams mainly as an intangible, uh, an abstract noun, like love, or power, or peace, or, or passion, or anger, or hate, or discrimination, these intangibles, but things that we all can relate to, these abstract nouns, and then pull from the noun, passion, a topic, people's passion for each other our children's passion for their grandparents, our parents' passion for their children, our teacher's passion for teaching. Then we begin to pull from the theme of passion a particular topic. Then we can pull from that topic a particular scene, a particular dramatic situation. And that dramatic situation is supposed to have five things. 
Can we, can we look, look, look at the slide now, please? So if we look, if we just um, don't leave it, because they're going to do some more stuff. If we just look back on the, I want to show you some, some slides now, because I want to just concretize what we're talking about here. We begin, let's, let's be, we begin with, with teams. Move down a bit. Down some more, down some more, down some more. Next page. Next page. Right. Here we go. So we'll begin with the team, the broad team, the large abstract noun or abstract concept like passion or peace or power or love or anger or hate. And we pull from that team a topic. If let's say the team is hate or patriotism, is the team patriotism. And pull from that the topic, Jamaicans. Love them country when them they are foreign. At that topic from most of us who Jamaica, we cost Jamaica, and we got foreign. Why we miss the yard? We begin to move from the large theme to a very manageable topic. Then from that, now we, we can put a title and say, let's call this one First Day of Foreign. Our plan for God, the embassy. So we can pull from the theme a topic then a title, and then move from that, move down, and then move down, and then move down, and then move down, and then move down to situations. So I want to now ask you both, leave it up there, to give me a situation. I'm going to give you from, from a team to a situation and to a scene. So the team is, let me give you two different teams, right? Your team is anger. And your team is hunger. That's a large, broad team. Hung hunger. Hunger. <laughs> hunger. Hunger and hunger. Right? Hunger, hunger. That's a broad team. Pull from that team a topic around hunger. A topic around anger. Whatever you, you want to put. You're you, you angry. Are you hungry? Yeah. Although hungry can sometimes cause anger, don't it? Right? So anger and hunger. That's the team. So give me a topic that would, from anger. Make a statement about anger. Angry baby mother. Angry baby mother. Hungry. Um, okay. In Africa, why God so far? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, let, be, be more specific though. Crossroads, St. Thomas. All right, right? So move from topic, move from team to a topic. Based on that topic now, create a quick situation. And act it out. You have 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Don't think, feel. That's the whole idea. Don't think, feel. Try something. Go. Action. Oh boy, try. Look how long it is. Somebody come up with baby. All right. All right, pause. Let, let me hear the words again. Let me hear the words again. You just said, hey boy, boy try. Right. So we hear. So move on. Let's look, look back on, on the screen again now. We'll soon come to you. Let's go back to the, the slide. So we, he moved by moving into a situation, he created some characters. Try, baby feeding. Move on some more. And we go down. Let me go down. Let me go down. All right. So move to character who's involved. Try. Now, you are the person who are called try. So we have try and somebody else. Right? We begin to, and that's how we're going to move from team to topic to, to know, enrich the content now by having a situation which must have five things. Character, who's involved. Environment, where, where and when it happens. So we now have, you yeah, try, babe, mother. So we have try, babe, we have try, and babe mother, and baby, right? So we have three characters. And we don't know, work out, where are they? At the shop, at the at tried workplace, on the backyard, and an evening, we begin to move now into a dramatic situation. We have character, environment, objective, obstacle, action, bop, content begin to create of its own now, a life, and drama, so we can then now improvise that, Record the improvisation and begin to script it. We have a story. We have characters, try and be a mother and baby. We can now build onto that now. Environment, where are they and what time? Where and when? 
where and when could mean on the veranda on a Sunday evening. I think workplace and payday. First thing in the morning on a Sunday. And then now we begin to move from character environment to what objective. In this moment, what's happening? Are they going to fight? Is she come to fight? Is he there to defend himself? And then what's the problem? And now they solve it and magic happens. That was, that was anger. Hung, that was hunger. No, let's see. <laughs> that was hunger. Let's see hunger. Hunger. Me not have it. You have it, man. Look at you look nice. Look at you look nice in my morning. Now. Just point it out on me a beggar. Not how much. Leave me hungry. Me not eat nothing from morning. All right. So, we, she no, she hungry. She not eat from morning. She a beg. What, what, what can that buy? <laughs> right? right? But we, and then we can ask her, where is she? She a beg a stranger. She might be on the street. Couldn't be midnight, because people are there. Might, might be sometime in the day. We begin to build from that. We move from the broader, the broad theme of hunger to a topic. Lady, mother, with child, hungry and begging. We can then build onto that a typical place. Where could that happen? On the street, in a public space. It's not some remote road in the country, very likely. So we begin to build on it now, environment. And she's begging, that's her objective. She's there because she wants something. If the person who she beg run her, then she have a challenge. Does she beg some more or cuss them off? Do they resolve it? We begin to now move to character, environment, objective, obstacle, action. Bam. And the content begins to become its own life. And we begin to have what can be a scene. Except that she has talked to me as if men are a scene. And now for this year, looking at solo. So the thing now is that. Is you alone in your scene. So whoever you're talking to have to be somebody who will, will hear their response in some other way, not the regular way. All right? And we are joined by one more superstar actress, right? Diva. Hello. How are you doing? Go up front. <laughs> so I'm going to give you a team. I'm going to give you a team. And from that team, create, a, create an action. Frozen action first, right? The team is power. Power. Action and zero. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, freeze. Power. So let's ask ourselves, what kind of power is that? That's not political power or financial power. It'll be the power of of, of the female beauty that make man go, oh, marry me, right? Perhaps, or perhaps not, right? So as a team, and she has used her body to create what she can depict as a team. But now move from team to a topic, something about power, a particular kind of power. Go. All right, thank you. So again, we're seeing, we move from simply the team of power to a scenario with Troy and the boss lady. I, am, I can then decide. And if you're working with a team, um, the, the actor is performing solo, eh? but the actor will have a director, probably, a, a writer, probably, a team that will then help the actor to move from team and enrich the content with your own ideas. And we can, we can do that in your workshops teachers and students, you can do it virtually and say so we can move from theme to topic, to situation, to what can become a theme. Characters, environment, objective, obstacle, action, bomb, drama happens. But the challenge is now, you all have to perform solo. There's nobody to, to, to react with, with you. But the reactions can still happen. And there are a number of ways to do that. You can, you can involve no, but let, let's, let's, let's not even go there. Let, let, let's back up, back up, back up. Let me invite you all. 
So do a gesture that Jamaicans will understand. One, yes. All right. Freeze. So, my head has scratched me. Or not my head. My wig has scratched me. The false ear has bite me. Right? The, 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 um, the, the, the time upon this false ear kind of expire. Right? Go ahead. Go away. You know, only Jamaicans alone do that. Very clear, go away with your hand. We alone do that. If a, if a man in North America is, is in a road rage, he would do perhaps a hand signal that's offensive, that's vulgar. We do. We know, we know what it means. And we can't, say, we can't say a small go away and a big go away. Right? Just with, we alone in the world do that. Use our hands to say go away. How about the opposite now? Go away. Come here. And you have that come here that, that might be a seductive girl like boy or boy like girl. You also have also a definite come here teacher, a college student, a parent, and you tell you get beaten. <laughs> when your parents say, you know, say, you hold in that finger, you do hold on, but one finger can mean, I like you. Come here. Right? So it's, and these are. Really, typically Jamaican gesture that nobody in the world do. We alone do that very clear. Go or come here, or you will face the point. <laughs> See that? See a friend that? No, you're a big friend that. Right? So the idea is that you're creating content with people. You're creating content that is, that is really richly, uniquely and originally Jamaican. And that's going to make your piece much more memorable, much more authentic, much more Jamaican, and much more worthy for a JCDC entry, as long as they keep it family friendly. Um, so it's not quote unquote adult theater is what you can watch with granny, auntie, cousin, sister, and friend, and the entire family, pastor and deacon, and nobody going to say, oops, did he say that? Oops, did I see that? Oops. So, so I want to know, each of you will do a little scenario where you, I'm going to give you now, the team again, but you, this time you pick your own team, but there are no words. Using only uniquely Jamaican gestures to show a scene. You have 10 seconds of plan. The idea that, that you can't make a mistake, just make it big, because we can all, we are workshopping it. So you work it, then you can shop it, and shape it, and sharpen it, and make it worthy to go, hey, I'm going to enter JCDC this year with my solar piece called, 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 called? Linstead Market. Market. I like Linstead Market. It's a nice Jamaican place. It's a nice Jamaican song. It's a nice Jamaican story. Because if you hear how Miss Lou explains it, we all sing, can I can go in the market? It's really a sad song. The person was there selling all day and they make no money. It's a moonful song. The person is deeply pained. Everybody come feel and check and nothing to sell. And we are going now hungry to the picnic. Them. Lindsay Market, that world is a sad drama, you know? It's a tragedy. Oh my God, we can't be okay. Go on, Linstead Market. And not a quarter you will sell. Lord. I would say, oh, just by rejigging the story, we can say, who is who the vendor? Is she a single mother? Does she have how many children? How far is she going from Linstead? Maybe I come from somewhere far like Riversdale or, or Hampshire. Or St. Thomas, and she comes selling it and not to sell. So, Linstead Market, right? Linstead Market. You alone, Linstead Market.
All right? Thank you. So we have Linseed Market, action only. This time you, Linseed Market, but just no action, just words, just sounds. Whether it is song or poem or monologue, but just words, no action. Just your body stand still and hear the words. That's it. Linseed Market, go. No action, just words. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Lovely. Now, user, listen, market, words and action. Go. Yeah, man, you're a nice girl. Skin, you're a nice girl. You're a nice girl. You're a nice girl. Oh, yeah, man, 150. I'm not a man. I'm a mama. Hey, baby mother. Oh, I'm a baby mother. Come like you love the academy, you know, man. Come, my own ass, come on. First, get up to the chin. Oh, yeah. Come back to him. Oh, she knows how to get up to He's up in the right country, man. Come on. Uh, come on. Uh, all right, taxi boy. You see how you taxi boy. I don't say you're tired for the rest of you, Semino. I'm tired to take my kids now. I'm off my road early now. I'm on the curfew, man. The curfew is not a mask. I'm still on the youth. Yo. Yeah, yeah man. Big mother. Forward. I'm like you. Yes. Ah, oh, see that? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yes, it's the egg. Oh, boy. I'm big mother. I'm loving it. Excellent. So we see actually beginning, middle, and end. The story, the action, the encounter with challenges, what is done about it, and the resolution, the action. Bob, scene done. Are there any questions from viewers, participants, or from you? Any questions? Any questions? Any, any comments? Anything you want to share? Is that convo? The chat? If you have questions, please type in the chat so we can read them and respond to them. Yes, you, you who are watching, you have questions. Ask me. I can tell you. Yes, and ask, put in the chat right now. Chat, ask me. Mr. Blacker, how come you're so handsome? I don't know. I just born so. But you can ask the question. Share your comments and questions so we can respond to them. And while you're doing that, challenge them. I'm going to give you each a Jamaican proverb. We're going to create a piece around. You alone. On stage, right? Puss and dog now have same luck. You, I go to the cast for the king just go upon. And you, what sweet nanny goat, running belly. I love it, that proverb. Create a quick solar piece, you alone, with that proverb in mind. Must have beginning, middle, and end. Right? Think about it while we're hearing some people who are on the Zoom, or whether you're linked via Zoom or our room, or our room to share any comments you might have. Any questions? No questions? Oh, that means that they might have, oh, them said thank you. Good afternoon, everyone. Beautiful. Right. Comment, but not questions. All right. Thank you. So, you ready? With the proverb? Let me hear it again. For like king. Pong. You know, you know what I mean, though? The animal pond is where the animals are, are locked up if they are found, basically, and they, they're them, them done. So, and yours is? And yours is? Okay, who's going first? Nanny goats, jackass, or puss and dog? And, and keep on looking at the fact, the fact that within every proverb or team, we can begin to pull characters. When we can pull characters, we have the beginning of drama, the beginning of the content becoming a story, a scene. Puss and dog, idle jackass, nanny goat, characters. 
uh, place them now somewhere with a challenge, objective, obstacle, and action, and bam, the magic of drama happens. So who's first? Sure, sure. You alone. We're going to start with Jonathan. with Jonathan. And he's performing a scene from his one man show called What Sweets Nanny Goat Runs His Belly. Oh, man. Sunday, I just hot, man. I wonder if Mars Joe, you can start off with three, right? Oh, a long time, I'm not going to say no. Watch out. Ah, oh, boy. Good night. <laughs> All right, so a wonderful chance to share some tidbits with you. One. Entries in the JCDC competition must be very aware of the fact that the use of certain kinds of language will not be permitted. That's the first thing. You have to keep the language um, quite uh, palatable. No, yeah, I say so. <laughs> right? That's one. Right? And that's another good, good chance for us to learn to just have that learning moment. That, that you, um, certain kind, if it's not, if it, if it's not considered, considered this way, if it's not fit for airplay on radio or TV, it's not fit for JCDC. That's the first thing. But Jonathan portrayal of Nanny Goat of the proverb is interesting in that he gave it a literal translation. Something that we eat that's nice to the, the taste and it's sweet you and then it cause a problem like diarrhea. Except that that proverb can be used in a, in a broader way, to mean other things. Something at first gave you pleasure and now cause you pain. So it could mean, it could mean somebody who found some money and enjoying the wealth, and then the wealth turned out to be a problem. It's not just literally eating something that makes you suddenly have running belly. It can be used to mean something that first brought you pleasure and you got indulging in the pleasure, and then it gave you pain. So we can take that nanny goat run belly thing all over the place. Not just about food. It can be about relationship. It can be about a business deal. Those boys who, uh, who are scamming, and the money nice, and then busy, I watch them care with, with champagne and anything, and then them get caught. And what? Feet nanny goat run them belly. So that's a good way to look at it, literally. But we can also decipher it, take it apart, and make other stories into that same Dominican proverb. Thank you, Jonathan. Next. I got jackass for the cane trash, go up on. I know that Jonathan did not play a goat, even though the, the, the proverb say nanny goat. So we can pull the proverb apart and impose upon it characters. In, in play a real man who thief. Apple that don't belong to him. Yes. Try. Try come there stop the me. Come here, there talk to you. Why am I? Two corner flower. Two corner sugar. Three corner chicken box. And two corner family, yes? Yeah?
Wonderful. So, we saw a story about Troy and his mother and his school friends and the shopkeeper and the football game and the shop and his house with just one actress. He began with a Jamaican proverb, I got jackass, but I can't trash got punk. In her performance, there was no jackass, there was no cane trash, there was no pound, but we got a chance to create a drama based entirely on that one Jamaican power. And interestingly, we saw Mother and Troy. We saw Troy and his friends at play. We saw Troy and the shopkeeper at the shop. And we saw Troy back at home. We moved the scene from home to playground to shop. We saw multiple characters, one actress, one body, and we got the story with just one Jamaican proverb. You're following? Hope you are. Next, puss and dog, now have same luck. Gosh, Gosh. we can borrow your, we can borrow your, your, your shoes where we are, where we are going dinner. Uh, yesterday, yesterday with, with Uncle and Mummy them. No, Tash, no, no, I'm going to make it. Please, Matasha, what do you hear it? What, what, what did not not happen? What do you hear? Please, Matasha. Yes. Yes, I got to the water. No. <laughs> Let me go and practice because I said we don't feel really but me yeah, go and practice. <laughs> Why yes no? What ya? Oh she said we can't hear me. What ya? What ya no? What ya no? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
Was that dog now? See, I'm not on snake. <laughs> and we didn't see any puss nor any dog. And in fact, just to underscore the idea of what you can do with a, with a solar piece, when the child began to play adult and put on the high heel shoes, I began to watch. She could be transformed in her head. She could hear another thing Welcome to Paris, fashion show, and an audio recording. And she could be transformed into her dream space where I am now a model on the runway in Paris. Then I follow on my foot block or something. So we could, we can start with these Jamaican proverbs that are richly Jamaican, typically Jamaican, and originally Jamaican, and from them pull characters. In each case, we see more than one characters. We see situations, and we see how we can create a story with a beginning, middle, and end that can be the next award-winning piece for JCDC drama competition, solo style. I'm gonna check again from, um, I'm seeing St. James and Mount Alverna I. I'm not seeing any questions. If you have any questions, please you know, type in the chat so we can talk to you. We can converse. You can ask me anything you want to ask me. I might not answer, but you should ask. Let's, let's have a convo here so we can talk about what you're seeing, what you're learning, what you're not understanding, so we can really impart to you. I want to, I want to know, then share what we have here in each case. We have one actor, one body on stage. And you might say that can, that can be boring. As you can see, it's not, it's not boring if the actor really started his or herself and become more than, one, more than one character. You can also add elements, right, that can make the characters be uniquely different from each other. As well, you can also add add other elements like multimedia, other visuals, um, recordings. I can talk to myself, and you hear both of us. Either by me playing too, I can record myself, then talk back to myself to the recording. Hello, yes, me, yeah, you, you, who that? And me and me, I talk with one me recorded and one me live. And we can also have me recorded visually and me live having a conversation having an interaction or i can respond to me by by me hey you may call you yes i'll come in i say you must come right now yeah but you're gonna beat me and you can simply by moving yourself around become both characters so if you're asking yourself this one person show is it because of covid yes but is it but could it be done before? It's been done before. It's been done. Let me share my own personal encounter with my, with my one-man story. I did, I did a one-man show called On, U-N. It looked at all the things that can be on. Unfriendly, uninteresting, unmanly, unfiltered. It was just called On, dot, dot, dot. And I was on stage, full-length show, 90-minute show with an intermission. I played several characters, and it was me alone on the stage. Of course, I had help with, with multimedia interaction, but I, I changed costume, did everything, and never left the stage. I'm going to show you some snippets of photographs from that show. It was done 2012, and it won an Actor Boy Award. Yeah, that's the award, Actor Boy Award for, the, for theatrical innovation. It included poetry, comedy, and drama. But I wanted to, to look at a picture from, from it. So, yes. So if you notice, there's a screen behind, behind the actor on stage. And so there was a constant interplay between the live body on the stage and images on a screen behind me, right? Next, next, next image. Those costumes that I'm wearing in that scene were all on the stage when, when the production started. I simply 
change from one from me in the opening after me the drunkard on stage in a way that didn't expose my body but right so this is the first scene in the show started with me dressed in a full suit and everything that's on the line there was used in the play so all the, if you notice the costume there the the shirt and hats were what what I'm wearing in the next scene as the drunken man and that mask. So everything, so the entire, all my costume was there from the, the get go. And I peeled down, I had another pants under that pants, a black pants under, under, under the white pants. So big white pants, black pants underneath it, right? So I would just peel off, but wouldn't be exposed because I was wearing costume under costume, right? And then, of course, when it became time to, to put on the Rastaman thing, I was put on over what I was already wearing. So there was no nakedness, even though I changed costume throughout, because it was all there. So guys, it can be done. And what was happening on the stage with my live body was being enhanced by and commented on by images on the screen and words on the screen. So each scene, there was a title of, of that scene behind me, unmanly. And, and so on, and that was, so it, the idea is that it can be done, and the content is all around you, all those were real characters, the nice man named um, White Suit, the Rasta man named, you know, I'm gone, security guard later on, which, there's a picture of that one, and the mask, which was, was re really about unmasking um, Jamaican personal, Jamaican ideas and thoughts. So, folks, it can be done, we have all the content all the sources from which to pull the content in our Jamaican stories. Revisit those, 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 those Jamaican folk songs and see what can we put. Let's look at who, who, who know the folk song here. Um, Middle Rocks, one, Middle Rocks, one, a banyan tree. Moons and the night. Who know it? Sing them here. Yes. Yes. Right. <laughs> Simple song, but we hear moonshine tonight on that tree. So we get environment. Late night, moon a shine, tree. We get outdoors and we get time of day. And we get people dancing together. The next line says that you didn't sing, say, ladies may curtsy, gentlemen may bow. We get characters, ladies and gentlemen, not boy and girl, but so and, and we begin to from that we can even pull. What's happening on this particular night? Is it because COVID, are light gone, light cut off? Why are they outside dancing under the moonshine? And we can begin to pull from that simple Jamaican folk song, a whole story. Who want to dance who? Who no want courtesy the right way and so on. So we have the content all around us. It's just use them, the Jamaican gestures, the Jamaican ways of being, right? Gwe can be a whole scene from go away to go away to go away but come back. Come here. I don't, are you? No, 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 you want go away. No, no, you come here. No, 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 you want. No, no, no. Go on. So how can we use what we have in Jamaica in our, in our ways of being, of speaking, ways of performing in a dance, who dance tush? who dance broke out, and how does the body speak to character, right? Walk, a walk, or stance, and all these things can be then pulled apart to create content that can be the next big award-winning solo performance for JCDC drama competition. Again, I want to pause and see if you have any questions. No questions, that's it. Rachel came from St. Andrew. Tiana Brown from Port Antonio, from Portland. Theatre group, yes. But I'm not seeing any questions. I don't know if Mr. Drisdale have any questions. Yeah, I, 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 I have a suggestion here. Yes. Um, most persons might not have seen the clipping we were playing at the beginning. So I'd like to play that um, short clipping of... Um, I think her name is Antonique Brackett from mm -hmm. Green Island High, and we can look at that solo presentation and then 
no see problem. if there are any questions or if you have any suggestions based on that. But that, that was the last one woman production we had in the drama competition, and that was in 2019. So okay. if we can view that now. Green Island. We go to Green Island. Yes. Green Island in Hanover. Mention of um, Miss Sharna Miller. Sharna Miller! You know, who always does one man, one woman shows with her students. So big ups to Sharna Miller. And if you have any questions, you can ask them to comment or additional lessons. You can teach us to you know. Because you are teaching, right? Production and we'll come to us from Green Island High School. This piece is entitled Labor Pain, produced by Green Island High School. Cast list, Anthony Brackett.
job by young Miss Brackett from Green Island and it's a good learning platform for all of us who are planning to do a one person piece for the next um, set of competitions. Lovely use of, of, of audio sound effects. We, we actually fed the baby, the baby crying and so on and that was great. 
where she fell on property with, with, with the transitions could have been much smoother, cleaner, and clearer. And that could have been accentuated again by sound effects or visual effects. So think about it. Think about when you make these things. Plan these things logically. If you must change costumes, what can you peel off without exposing and still be, be in costume? So the, the, the key lesson I wanted us to underline for you who are, who are preparing your piece is that Jamaica is content rich. We are, we are, there's content flowing all around us. One famous cultural theorist say, culture is the web of stories we tell ourselves about ourselves. And we all have these stories. So and we can do have to write new stories, revisit old stories. Tree, tree wheel coffin, black heart man, um, Rasta man, the Christian lady, the deacon, the man who, I mean, pulled from folk songs. Folk songs give you nice, rich examples of ideas for scenes and characters. I want 500 pieces about to build up my firewall. I, uh, you can be neighbor, have some long, one picnic, picnic and the man with him fire. So the stories are all around us. The key is how do we, how do we pull them, pull them apart, revisit them, reenact them, and give them new meaning. Think also outside the box in terms of the other character in that popular scene. You may see a scene with Marcus Garvey giving us a speech at Liberty Hall. But instead of thinking about Marcus Garvey, think about the man in and who don't answer really, I say. Whatever word they mean. To find some other character in the scenario. Right? As I said before, we talk about early worm, catch the, early bird, catch the worm. What about the early worm? Tell the early worm story. So think outside the box. And remember to think also as you create content to go for authentic but appropriate. Think of the big A, authentic. But the, the bad A, a if, it's not appropriate. if it's not appropriate. So consider, so consider all the while, all the while that whatever, whatever you're doing for the stage, for the stage and, the and the screen for JCDC, what must have fit for airplay for prime time, time radio or TV, not for late night TV or adult radio. So go for appropriate but authentic. Go for real Jamaican -ness. We saw all Jamaican after certain gestures. Go ahead and come here or come here. And also, yeah, I like that. We all want to do that. Gun salute. That meant I like that. It means, yeah, big tune, big tune. Yeah, you pass the exam. Yeah, me get the money. And everybody go, gun finger. Want it appropriate and palatable, and it's Jamaican, it can work. I'm going to tell you, are there any questions? No questions? No questions? No comments? Any comments? Akelia, Regina, Jonathan? From you? Sure. Sh you ready? <laughs> you ready? Yeah. Every who of them sticker bush. Uh, okay. Every who of them sticker bush. Every, Every who has its stick in the bush. You know the who? The farming tool, yeah. the metal triangle. It, it has a stick in the bush to match it to make it work. So every who of them sticker bush. Every, every prick of him jeggy. Every one of them take a bus. Go. Every who of them take a bus. A Kelly. Guess who I'm going to have the night at the party tonight? Me. I forget the pose, ready? Mommy? Yeah? May I go to it Shirley tonight? I go study and do homework. Homework, mommy. The finals will come up on me. I could, you know, do good for the homework and every assignment so I can pass yeah 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 you know 
me a good girl. Me not gonna do nothing. Me not supposed to do. Right. Bye. Look how me look now. Let's see. Here's a girl. Let's see me ready for party. Watch you. When I look good, girl. When I look good. Yeah, I'm ready for dance and enjoy myself. So I'll choose. Me not get to know trouble because I'm over it now, the girl. Come on, ready. Ready, 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 ready. Landra, oh, yes, yes, so. Why you don't like to your mother? Couldn't just tell her that we are going to look for party. I know I'm me, I go put in a trouble, you know. I'm me, I go put in a trouble. Just come on, man. Yes, yes, sir. Come on, man. Yeah. Dance, the girl, dance. Oh, yes, yes, sir. Dance. It's the good music I play. I need to dance, girl. I need to dance. I mean, I know for dance, Landra. Landra, I mean, I know for it. Girl, move your waist like this. Round. Round in a circle. Yeah, you got it. I mean, I know how to dance, man, sugar. Look good, look good. I'm nice, look at you, boy. I come. Look good, girl, look good. Hello, ladies. Hello. Wanna look nice, you man? Yes. Ooh, I love it. Let me tell you something. Let me whisper something in your ear. Yes, we say you have $500 you can give me. No, I have $1,000 I can give you. You think you can, you know, come home with me tonight? <laughs> Girl, <laughs> I'm just asking you to come home with you, man. Wait, I'll go on home. Tell me, say me a sleepover with you tonight. Yeah, girl? All right, then, go on, go on, go on, go on. Yes. Nice gentleman. All is well. Oh, all is well. So, what is, what is the thousand dollar there? You not give me the thousand dollar? No, you have to give me the thousand dollar first. But can you use the bathroom, please? All right. God, God, look, I'm going to put myself in a trouble. Let's breathe. You can get through this. Come in after no nothing. Just smile. Just smile and play with him nicely. Give him one look at it and then you can go home. This is not for up now again. All right. All right. All right. You got this. You got this. So why you take off your clothes, sir? You <laughs> got this. I got this, oh God, I got this. I don't want to come. I don't want to come, I don't want to come, I don't want to come. Landra, come now, come now, you don't want to dance. You don't want to dance. Oh, so I'm cute while I come here. So I'm cute while I come here. Ooh, ladies. You're looking good. You're looking fine. Let me whisper something in your ears. Come on. Andra, my mom is to come on with him, but I'm not sure. My advanced gut feeling, I tell me, I'm not going to go with you. But we think more, see, Andra. Hey, don't go with him, girl. Don't go with him. Come, come, come home now. I'm going to do the homework. Come, come. But, all right then, because my dog not have the same look now. I'm going to go home with him. Come. All right. So, again, we want to reiterate the point about appropriateness of content. Um, take off. And it's interesting. I did something just now that most of us as teachers tend to do. Assume that the children them understand what, what the, the proverbs mean, the way we understand them. And we sometimes break them down and explain that 
every hole of sticker bush is really the H-O-E, the farming tool, <laughs> not the hole, <laughs> as in T-H-O-T, -T, you know. <laughs> so, <laughs> it's the farming tool called H-O-E, the metal triangle with a stick in it, that you use to, to clear up the, 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 the farm, the plow the field. So it is, it's important that our teachers help students to, dis, to decipher, interpret, break down, deconstruct what these proverbs mean so they can understand it literally and symbolically and then engage it to create content. But again, we see how one simple phrase can inspire a whole scene with a variety of characters, some good, some bad, some meant for trouble, some innocent, and now things can just unfold and a, a simple innocent to plan the trick appearance can end up with you being trafficked or abused or end up perhaps dead. It can move from a simple innocent encounter to tragedy. So as I said before, we are content rich. It's how do we engage the content in ways that, that are interesting, exciting, original, unique, and appropriate, and then enter and win. The awards are waiting. So, Akelia, Regina, and Jonathan, thank you for applying your minds and body and creativity in this. Um, I don't know if there's anything else. I will just end with one thing. One last thing from Miss Lou, my favorite Jamaican saying from Miss Lou. Miss Lou said, every who have them stick a bush, every long road have bend, every hot sun have shady tree, and the longest prayers have amen. Amen. <laughs> You hearing? All right. So this was a very interesting, um, interesting workshop. I would really like if we had some questions for the presenter. I did ask. However, no one said any questions as yet. But we had persons on being a part. It was very informative. Um, we got some things about the, the, the topics and themes and titles that we can use to just stimulate you know, content that we want. Um, maybe start from Jamaican gestures to then lead into a situation. We saw where topics came from the situations and then we could have scenes from specific situations. I liked at the beginning you said that you must go from what you know before you go into the unknown. And um, we saw that in performance. Um, I hope that our participants did see that. As I said, any questions you have, please post them even after the workshop. Definitely post the questions. I can answer them or I can definitely send them to, to, to Mr. Ellis here um, to get that information. So wonderful workshop we had today. Um, thank everyone for joining us. Um, we saw persons from most, if not all, of the parishes here in Jamaica. And um, we're here at the Little Theater, the LTM Little Theatre, this is where the national pantomime usually happens. This is where we usually have our national performing arts finals for the JCDC in this space. As you see, the chairs are empty. The chairs are empty. There are no one sitting in the chairs, but we are here in this historic place where theatre arts was created. I had to perform here when I was going high school and all of that. Um, so we had to be in this space if we love and appreciate theatre. So I give thanks that we had the opportunity to do it in this space, right? And we have the younger generations here that will be doing theater and, and, and pass the button, button on to them. I think Mr. Ellis here might say pass the button to me, but then never pass it to them because I have yeah. gray here now. Yeah. <laughs> All right. However, thank you for being a part. Any questions, please send the questions. Uh, we should have... We had a scheduled workshop for Friday, the 26th, and we all know what happens in Jamaica on this Friday. Um, we close down at 12 o'clock. Mm -hmm. We would have scheduled it for 2, for 2 p.m. to 4 p.m. However, 
that's not possible in this space because we know what's happening. Uh, so the suggestion is to reschedule to Tuesday of next week, which is the 30th of March. And we'll definitely have Camille Pomina, our last presenter um, in this series of workshop that we had for the drama unit. All right, so please, as I said, any questions you have that weren't answered here, as it relates to content building for one man, one woman presentations, don't be afraid to ask, don't be afraid to email, email jcdc, sean.drisdale at jcdc.gov.jm. And I will definitely pass the information on or get the information you need so that you can enter and be confident in your entry. All right, so thank you again for making it the drama workshop for JCDC for today. And um, definitely we will see you on Tuesday. All right.